Well, let's learn how we can implement the slider in our own application. Hi everyone, I am Matt from Deus United and I'm gonna learn you how to implement this nice slider in your own app. So, let's get started by opening up an Android Studio and creating a new project with an empty activity. Click on next and name your project however you want. Then click on the Minimum SDK and choose the one you want to use for your app. Now click on the finish and wait for the project to load. In the meanwhile, we can open up the material design page and head over to the implementation tab. Here, click on the getting started page and open it in a new tab. And copy this dependency line from here. Because we need to implement material design dependency. Now, click on the Gradle scripts and open up the build Gradle file. Here just paste the line, copy it from the GitHub and for me the latest version is 1.6.1. .1. Now click on the Sync Now button and wait for the project to sync. In the meanwhile we can open up the REST folder and the layout file. Here we need to edit it a little bit. So let's put the linear layout there and one more linear layout that will hold our slider together with a nice image in front and behind of it. We need to put an orienta orientation to our linear layouts. So the first one is going to be vertical and the second one is going to be horizontal. Now we need to put a slider there. And our slider is going to be 300 dB wide and it's going to be wrap content of height. Now in front of the slider we want to put a nice image of volume and it's going to be 30 dp wide and 30 dp tall. Now we need to put some image there, so let's import something from Google icons. So the first one is going to be volume down and the second is one the second one is going to be volume up. So let's put our images into the app and we just need one more image view with volume up. Now let's center our linear layout and we can also center the second linear layout. I also want to put some text view that we are going to put the volume from our slider. So let's start with zero, then in the code we will adjust the value based on the value from the slider. And we can also put it in a nice card view, so we can elevate the text a little bit. Now we have nice layout prepared and we just need to put some ideas there so we can edit it in the code. And we need to put ID for the slider as well. And we can also put a value from 0 and value to 100. That means that we are going to have starting value of 0 and the end value of 100. Now in the code we need to create a value for both of these instances. So let's create a text view. 
named for example value slider or I'm just going to copy an ID from the one I have declared before like this and we also have a slider now so also I'm gonna copy an ID from the layout folder sorry file Perfect. Now we need to create an on change listener for our slider. So I'm going to put an on change listener there. And based on this value we get from the on change listener, I'm going to adjust a slider test view. Now let's try to run our app. Yes, this should be enough. So once your app is running, you can try to test it. And we can see that the value is changing, but we have also the second label on top of the slider, which we can easily get rid of by specifying this in the layout, folder, uh, layout file. So we can specify layout behavior to be gone in the layout file. Now, when we rerun our app, we will be we will be missing this text view on top of the slider. So right now, you can try to play with this top text view. You can try to round the number, so don't get these decimal play and decimal numbers after the main number. And you can try to adjust it however you want. So, thank you for watching, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing or liking the video, and if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments and I will try to answer all of them. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.